Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to refinish this dark brown IKEA PAX cabinet to a lighter satin white. Stick around to see how I did it. This started a couple months ago when my wife and I did a small remodel of our home office. It's a quite small space and I'm still amazed by the amount of stuff we were able to put into and still have some room to walk around. One of the things we wanted was to bring our book collection into the office. It was initially in a different space and we stored it in a dark IKEA pack structure that we've converted as a bookshelf. And yeah, I know that there are a lot of both fans and haters of IKEA out there. I personally think that for some applications, I sure can live with the quality flaws as the cost is quite hard to beat and this is one of the good examples. The problem with installing the converted bookshelf into the office was that it was in a dark brownish black color and the office furniture is mostly white. Here lies a question of how to move forward. Shall I scrap the existing bookshelf and buy a new one in white or shall I paint this one? I've ran the numbers and cost-wise it made sense to refinish this one, apart from being more environmental friendly by generating less waste also. After deciding what to do, the next question was how to do it, as I was pretty sure that the paint would peel off if I did not prep the surface properly. I've did some googling as I could not be the first one to have this issue, but unfortunately all the hits I've got was from people in the US which got nice results using a shellac based primer. I say unfortunately because I live in Portugal and here we don't have access to those products, so I had to find a technical alternative with the stuff I can find over here. I've still had some leftover primer from a previous project, a quite good and expensive Rubilac water based primer which works really good with MDF that soaks in paint like crazy. I've tested it directly into one of the shelves, but the IKEA finish was way too glassy and the primer peeled off easily, so the first test was a bust. I had to scrape it off and then deciding on do some sanding before the primer. I've started very lightly with 180 grit, but I was not happy with the progression. I've then lowered to 120 grit. And after being bored of sanding, I just went full bananas with an 80 grit pad on an orbital sander. That's what you've been seeing me do until now. If you are replicating this method, be careful as the 80 grit can expose the inner IKEA material quite easily and take into account that I say material and not wood. If you are looking for a glass like finish, you might not get what you want if you go this low on grit. But if you can live with a little bit of texture, this method works really good and the layers of primer and paint leave a leveled surface. After sanding and priming some of the shelves, I've run out of that good expensive primer and had to decide what to do next. Try out a cheaper primer or stick with the expensive stuff. I've estimated that the cost alone of the expensive primer would be similar to purchasing a brand new pack structure. So, I had no other choice to go for a cheaper primer from the brand Luxons that I bought in Le Roi Merlin, our local home center similar to Home Depot or Lowe's if you are seeing this from across the pond. This new primer worked really great and after a couple of coats on all the surface, I painted the structure with a polyurethane reinforced paint, also by this brand Luxons. This gave a very durable outer layer with no chipping or peeling off whatsoever. In the structure I've applied a satin white and in the shelves an also satin dark grey. Then came the time to assemble everything and put the bookshelf in its place in the office. I've reinforced all the shelves with white metal corner brackets to better handle the book's weight and drove a couple of screws into the wall to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And bam, here it is. We're quite happy with the results and the finishing method worked really good. It's a ton of work in the sanding stage, but it sure pays off. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it was helpful if you're looking into a similar project. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and leave a thumbs up or a comment. It will sure help out the channel. See you next time and take care out there.